this. Transcription. Rewrite the following passage neatly on your notebook using appropriate pronouns in the place of the nouns shown in color. So there is a passage which says on the occasion of 15th August, Tara's grandmother had been invited to hoist the national flag near the main gate of the colony. Grandmother was the senior most resident of the colony and had been a freedom fighter as a young girl. Tara often listened to grandmother's stories of the freedom struggle of India. Okay. So in this passage, grandmother in two occasions, one, two, are given in different colors. So when we rewrite this passage, we need to rewrite that using suitable pronouns for these two colored nouns. Okay. Right. So shall we start trying with that? On the occasion of 15th August, Tara's grandmother had been invited to hoist the national flag near the main gate of the colony. She was the senior most resident of the colony and had been a freedom fighter as a young girl. Tara often listened to her stories of the freedom struggle of India. Okay, so now we have successfully rewritten the passage. And now, instead of the grandmother here, we have used the she here. Instead of the grandmother's stories, we have used her stories here. Okay. So now, look at the passage, both the passages, with the noun and with the pronoun. And understand, identify and understand how the pronouns are used in the passage. Right. <clears throat> right, children? So, the second in writing skill is a composition. Complete the following sentences by adding appropriate words. So, to start with, all the people of the nation are united. There was a lot of pollution near the factory. She became the first woman president of India. Okay. So the first part given is all the people there was and she became. The second part of the sentences we need to complete with our own sentences. So I have used these three parts over here. All the people of the nation are united. There was a lot of pollution near the factory. She became the first woman president of India. Okay, so you have the same, uh, you, you can write these same parts in your notebook and complete the sentences with the, your own sentence parts, okay. You can write all the people, then uh, the remaining part, 
should remain in their houses it's corona time now na okay second there was uh, a match going on in the ground or uh, she became hmm the first uh, cricket player in india anything anything you can write okay she became a dancer at the age of 5 we can write any such a sentences as per what you think about it okay that's it complete the following passages by writing suitable words in the blanks so there is a passage given there and there are four blanks in it and we have we are provided with uh, you know see a uh, set of four words also so we need to read the passage and choose the suitable word from the options given and put that and complete the passage right we should value the freedom that dash enjoy today we dash a democratic government elected by the dash of our country we should work dash to make our country great we should value the freedom that we have we enjoy today okay then we dash we possess we own it no yeah so it should be we have a democratic government elected by the who do we who are the people who elected the government people so citizens means people okay the word citizens means a people so we will use a citizens here and we should work hard to make our country great right so we should value the freedom that we enjoy today we have a democratic government elected by the citizens of our country we should work hard to make our country great okay so that's a passage we have done it now you can uh, i'll keep this uh, screen for a minute you can uh, read the passage again okay next one homework so write five sentences with each kind of pronouns in a conversation between you and your friend you can take help of your parents for writing this conversation okay we will do it here itself no problem with that right so ashwin come this come in sham this is my lovely house so saying that this is a demonstrative pronoun sham oh nice who is this girl who is an interrogative pronoun ashwin she is my sister she studies in 7th class so she personal pronoun sham which is your favorite game which interrogative pronoun mine is cricket of course mine personal I have to leave now. Please don't think otherwise. I personal pronoun. Okay, we will meet tomorrow in the school. Again, we personal pronoun. So here we have given you the conversation between Ashwin and Shyam. Uh, read it, Ashwin. Come in, Shyam. This is my lovely house. So in that sentence, we have used this particular. Yes, this is a demonstrative pronoun, right? Second, Shyam said, "Oh, nice. 
Who is this girl? So Sham saw a girl over there. So she asked, he asked, who is this girl? So who, the second sentence, who is an interrogative pronoun. She is my sister. She studies in seventh class. So in this, she is there. She is a personal pronoun. Sham, which is your favorite game? So which is here? That is interrogative pronoun. Ashwin, mine is cricket. Of course, mine is a personal pronoun. Sham, I have to leave now. Please don't think otherwise. So we have used I there. That is a personal pronoun. Okay, we will meet tomorrow in the school. Ashwin said. So we is the last one. That is a personal pronoun. Right? So I will keep the screen for two minutes so that you can read it once.